Hi everyone, we're here with a, another Taste the World <laughs> video, and this time we're going to try um, stuff from Canada. This came from a good friend on YouTube who is Mel, and I'll show you what she sent here before I get into this huge box that she really went crazy on. To the card and in case you don't know who Mel is she's paper speaks here on YouTube and I just want to show you the beautiful card she had made and it says she um, friend and family I hope you enjoy trying these treats hopefully it is a flavor adventure and it totally will be thank you so much Mel I greatly thank appreciate you. it you Very really much did, thank you he really didn't need to send so much but it's gonna be fun trying um, and hopefully you can see the button that she had sent, which I really love and I think my daughter's going to confiscate because she really, she loves the pins too, so. And then also a travel mug, which I already broke into and I had my coffee in. Well, technically and I broke into it. Yeah, she, <laughs> she made it for me. But, and he named it. But it's, it's perfect for us because um, <laughs> we like hockey. And the Devils are our favorite team, and you know, the, the good players on the Devils are all Canadian, so. And Martin she's Burgor said, until he quit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the Canadian flag, which is really cool, and I'm gonna totally put it up in the house. <laughs> and she sent some Canadian pencils, which are really, really cute. They have Canada written on them. <laughs> And I'm going to have Derek show you the uh, post-it notes that she had sent along with the package. Which are really, really cute. I can't wait to put them in my planner. And a little um, magnetic mini notes with a B on it for my initial, which is really, really cute. Thank you. And then she even sent stamps, which I was like shocked. I, was, I knew she was sending the package. I really didn't think it was going to be this big. And... They're really, really cool. It's a uh, flower and thyme scent there. And then the other one is a uh, Studio G, which are really, really cool. And I can't wait to use them. And they'd be perfect for um, like the butterfly. I think that would be really cute in the Smashbook with like a the little snippet of the um, postage stamp that the box came, uh, was wrapped with the box. And I put that in the Smashbook along with the wrappers. So this way we know it came from you, Mel. Which I totally love. Thank you so much for spoiling us. And I'm going to show you everything that she sent today, but we're only going to try a couple only because we just had dinner and Samantha's sad because I won't let her try one yet. Um, we're going to leave it till last whether she likes it or not because I think that would be kind of Mel's holy grail for our reaction. So. <laughs> sabu, sabu. <laughs> um, she did send ketchup potato chips, which are pretty cool. Samantha is really eager about potato chips, and I think it was funny. Um, I think it was um, Becky from Ant Bex Creations was saying that Sam needs uh, chips anonymous. <laughs> no, 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 I do not, because I'm too proud of my affection for these things to be anonymous about it. That, that means you need help with your addiction. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not with you for And these are really cool. They're um, Little maple leaf gummies. I thought they were adorable. They're hard. Okay, they're hard candies. They look like gummies, but they're hard candies. Those are really cool. I love everything uh, with the maple, except for oatmeal. I don't like the maple flavored oatmeal, but the uh, there used to be a tea. Um, honey. It was like it was honey no maple. vanilla. It was vanilla maple. Uh, vanilla maple chamomile. Yeah. And I couldn't get it anywhere, and I seen that they did sell it in Canada, but I don't think they sell it anymore. Oh no, the last time you bought it was like two years ago because you got it for you. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think they have it anymore. Uh, it was just so, regular vanilla candy. But she also sent <laughs> she also sent orange Kit Kats, and I have never seen those before. And Samantha loves orange chocolate, so that is like right up her alley. And these are really cool, <laughs> rockets. I have never seen these. Um, we have 
the smaller, smaller packets that are Smarties, and they used to be my son's favorites when he was little. I'm trying to keep the box out of the way here. And she had sent these, which look really good. They're um, maple cream cookies, and they, they're shaped like the maple leaves. They're really, really cute looking. I'm excited to try those ones, too. No offense, but that's the only thing I've ever talked about cookie. <laughs> And then what I think might be like Mel's holy grail that Samantha really wants to try is a gum, <laughs> and it's called Thrills. And Mel put a note, she said, warning, people love or hate the taste of this gum, but she thought it would be fun for us to try. And on the package it says it still tastes like soap. So <laughs> I thought that was hysterical. Samantha really, really wants to try it. If anything, she needs... Um, Gum Anonymous, yeah. because we go through so much gum, it's <clears throat> it's ridiculous. Yeah. But that it, that is totally cool. I that's gonna be have to be our last trial thing. And then she also sent, which I was dying laughing because it's Maynard's, <laughs> um, there's <laughs> fuzzy peach and sour watermelon, and these look really good too. And it's the first name of my favorite band's lead singer. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was laughing about it. And she sent this cute, cute palette, which I really love, and it's one of my favorite colors, which is like a burgundy. And it's stuffed full. And the first one is Smarties, which, like I said, our Smarties look like these, only a lot smaller, like your office. So those are going to be interesting to try. Like M&M's? Yeah, kind of like M&M's, almost, I would think, that they would be more like. And then their Kit Kats, they come wrapped, it's a little bit different than ours, yeah, the wrappers. Ours are more just like the, 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 the Yeah, it's like a paper wrap. <laughs> He's singing. And uh, Cadbury Caramel, which I love everything caramel, so does my husband. Mm -hmm. You're leaving me out of this. Well, there's some caramels you don't like. But. Yeah, the cheap kind. <laughs> no, like, it tastes like questionable things. <laughs> and she also sent an arrow bar, and I heard the arrow bars, um, it's uh, feel the bubbles and you're, you're supposed to bite into it and then actually press it to, I think, the top of your mouth is to like the roof of your mouth to be able to feel it. And it's kind of like a fizzing sensation. So I'm excited to try that one. As well as this coffee crisp. I've been seeing these everywhere and love mm -hmm. coffee. coffee. <laughs> I might have to fight him for it so he doesn't have it before then. And this looks really good too. It's uh, crunchies. It's a sponge toffee, which I've never had any of the sponge toffees before, but toffee is yummy. And Samantha really loves the toffee. Makes me think of Gurgi. The Gurgi <laughs> from the Black Cauldron. Yeah, crunchies and munchies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mel. God, you really spoiled us. You got us a whole bunch of awesome goodness. Yes, thank you. I'm very excited. Thank and we're going to we're gonna pick uh, two things, only because I got a whole bunch of goodies, crafty goodies from you, and also the adorable mug, which I love and I have already used and I will continue using. So I'm going to let them each pick something to try, and then we'll try some more in a future video. No, you can't have the gum, though. That's the one thing you can't pick this time around. Okay, you want to try ketchup potato chips? Oh, you want to try cookies? Ketchup don't and cookies. Enough, don't we have enough cookies open right now, though? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. There's my cookie monster. He needs cookie anonymous. I'm going to go with the Kit Kat. You're going to go with Kit Kat? Okay, we'll pull them both out, then we'll try the Kit Kat. Okay, we're going to try the orange Kit Kats and ketchup chips. Which one do you want to try first? Those. I'm gonna try the potato chips first. Are you sure? I don't know, I got coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It smells like ketchup, exactly. Oh no. Like, like salt and vinegar and ketchup. Right back to her being four years old with the opening of the box and the ketchup. They're pretty pink color, actually. No, it does. It smells like if you've ever had salt and vinegar potato chips, is what it smells like. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. He doesn't like salt and vinegar. Sammy and I can sit there and we'll eat a bag each. <laughs> well, I should wait. It will still try. You want to show them what the chip looks like? It's really pretty, though, isn't it? It's, this is funny. It's like a <clears throat> burgundy, purplish it's dusting. Yeah, yeah, almost magenta on it, on the chip. It's pretty cool looking. 
At least it doesn't look dirty like the uh, <laughs> the pecan pie ones we had. I've they really eat, look. I've been eating them. Yes, she's been eating Ugh. the chips. So yeah, I, chips I anonymous. Like them. <laughs> It tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> I can eat that. It tastes like a hot dog. With a pickle. Like hot dog Johnny's almost. It's got like that flavor. Just a little bit too much ketchup for it. Mustard on hot dogs. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. That's no, not that bad. It tastes like a ketchup packet. It tastes mm -hmm. like McDonald's fries. Mc no, McDonald's cheeseburger. The old cheeseburger. The, yeah, the old cheeseburger. <laughs> not their new stuff, because the new ones are different. <laughs> The way they used to make them, oh, you the little did, tiny yeah, diced said, up onions. Yeah, with the tiny onions, yeah. Mm. The dollar menu ones, yeah. cheeseburger, not the doubles. You, you, just, you said old I cheeseburger, so I thought of like, you know, the kids stuffing it underneath <laughs> the seat in the car or something. I, you never know? Did, I, <laughs> nev I never did that, I just did it with the um, English muffin. Yeah, that's all, don't <laughs> do that. But yeah. you always say, she, I love you. This is, this is mm. They're not, they're not, I, I could eat them. They're better than those other ones. Those are actually probably the the better of the odd flavored chips. I could actually eat those too. If we ever find these, not a whole them. lot, but that would definitely curb the whole like eating too many chips in one sitting, because it it really does have a kind of a high salt content. I would yeah. say because they're really salty. Not like it. Yeah, I don't want to rip the packaging just so we can put in the smash book. Yeah. Oh, you gotta break it. <laughs> I think she's gonna eat the whole bag of chips before we uh, get done filming today. <laughs> They'll probably definitely be gone before morning unless she decides that she wants to save some for her lunch or something tomorrow. Okay, any more coffee? Any more coffee? Mm -hmm. Oh. Ketchup oh. flavor. Lo those are longer than ours, too. Yeah, yeah. a little bit longer. Yeah, look at that. It's longer than my uh, pointer finger. Yeah, ours usually are. The size of my middle. Yeah, ours are tiny. About like that in comparison. Yeah, our our Kit Kats are tiny compared to your guys' ones. Mmm. Oh. It smells good too. It smells good. It don't smell like ours. I feel it left out because I have so much potato chip in my mm. mouth. Oh, that's it's really good. You really know those good. orange things that I obsess over that you smash? Because we yeah. have a cho uh, chocolate the oranges chocolate oranges that you smash them with the hammer of your fist and they break up into orange things. These are so much better than that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like orange chocolate, but I like this. Yeah, this is really good. I think it's the cookie in the middle that is what's my saving grace for it. Because it's not as overpowering as the other orange. Their wafers taste more airy, too, yeah. than ours. It's funny how it's like the same company and stuff, and it's mm -hmm. just, it's got to be the temperature, like for the baking and stuff like that. But the elevation yeah. and everything that you guys have that's different. But yeah, your Kit Kats are definitely better. It's a long way to go for trigger treating though. <laughs> yeah. So but we could catch some really good hockey games if we do. Oh yeah. Totally. <laughs> These are better than the chips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Best candy ever. Yep, I think we have um a winner for today is the they both really the orange bad. Kit Kats, but the the Lay's ketchup potato chips are actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by that. Especially with the way you guys were describing this, uh, how it the, smelled. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah the, how it really turned you off. Yeah, but it really it does. Good. It smells like salt and vinegar, but it does not taste like the salt and vinegar. I mean, they're real salty, but it's like it's like if you took a French fry and just got like a gob mm. of ketchup on it and. You know, the same amount of salt content. Only it's much. not soggy, so it's better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but are we good? Or do you want to try one more? Let's try another. What do you want to try? But that's it for today. You have to pick because me and Dad pick. Yeah, technically. If you want to do a You want to do the little hard candies? Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. get that. Flavor out. Very good. Very good. This is so cute. I don't want to eat them. I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> They're really cute. The little maple leaves. I can't smell the little smells. I still smell the chocolate on my fingers from holding the cap. They don't have a scent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that 
piece of medicine. <laughs> <laughs> they remind me of like the old root beer barrels. Yeah. Oh yeah. So tastes like medicine because I think those taste like medicine too. I still eat them though. Oh really? I like them. Mm -hmm. Not very, very overpoweringly sweet, but it's just enough. It's got a good flavor to it. What it kind of reminds me of? I wonder. Mel, no, you'll have to tell us what this is. Is it like the um? Is this like the raw sap? It's kind of what it tastes like. You know, if for making the maple syrup or whatever, because that's kind of it's kind of like the flavor. Yeah, when you tap it. Yeah, when you fresh when out. You, yeah. And I like that a lot better than I like the maple syrup. <laughs> that's really good. Thank you so, so much. Yes, thank you. Um, I, I'm but, so happy. But this, when you're talking about the sap, it made me remember because uh, in an old house we had this huge tree, like in the middle of our driveway, that would always like sap on mom's mommy and whatever else was popped there. But me and my cousins and my two uh, younger aunts decided one day that because we watched something about maple syrup, we went up to the tree <laughs> and we, um, we ate some of the sap off it. We couldn't figure out how to make it taste good, so we like we were, we had it in our hands. We were pouring sugar on it. That that was a fun day. Yeah, that's. that's now you know what happened to her. <laughs> now you know what's wrong. It's eating all that um maple tree syrup from the north. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't north. even a maple. It was um what was that? that no, was it was a sycamore. Yeah. That oh, was a sycamore tree. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. On that note, thank you again, Mel. I greatly appreciate it. Everyone, check out her channel. It's Paper Speaks here on YouTube. She makes some beautiful junk journals, and she's been making some cards here lately. I've been seeing. And Samantha's getting a little rowdy. So, I'm gonna cut it there. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.